What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Busa GS. I am joined today by another another guest here with us. Please introduce my yourself, my guy. It's the man Merkels. I'm in the building, man. Yo, why we take so long to do this, man? Um, yo, I don't, my, my phone was a piece of shit prior to this. My phone oh, was a piece of shit. Um, you see how he spins me, guys? You see how he spins nah, me? Nah, nah. <laughs> My phone was a piece of shit, and um, yeah. Now we now we get into it though, man. It's, it's a lot, a lot happened, so it's, it's. I think it's best better time than ever. Yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been an eventful couple months, right? <laughs> we be chopping it up to the point I didn't know we didn't do it, bro. Is it mean the same thing with me? Like I, I have I have on my list, like yo, I definitely gotta get an interview with fucking Merck. I gotta get an interview with Koofies, but we talk so regular that you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, you don't even yeah, think yeah. about it. Nah, um, nah, nah. We need a Koofies because Koofies don't he, he don't talk. He don't fuck around. So that be that's super exclusive. He be he awesome. he he just be like, yo, call me. And I'm like, all right. And then it just never happens. I, you know what I'm saying? Like one thing leads to another. We got something, we we got some hush hush shit that might be might be working in the in the, the background of things. Throw some uh, bars? I, I'm just a reactor, so I, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now ever since we did the DVD cipher, we have me, you, Stoke, Black Corion, uh, and Koofy's on the DVD cipher. The, there's always going to be more stuff to come. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was so gully that I was like, yeah, we, we, we definitely got to get some other shit popping. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, speaking of Breeze, how's he doing? Breeze is... <laughs> he's good, man. He was... um, he, Yeah, he's straight. Breeze is good, man. He, he, he 100%. Um, he was he had COVID a while back. Like, Damn. I mean, maybe like a month, month and a half ago, but he got through that. I mean, better than ever. Slim down some. You know I was about saying? to say, he was look. He was looking a little healthy. He was looking nah, a little healthy. He got a little stocky yeah. going on. I was like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Nah, my man Slim down. He, you know what I mean? He feeling good. He, he doing his thing, man. He he doing some good managing, too. We, we definitely going crazy. That's dope. Make sure you send him my love, too. Um, my man. Now, I will say this, though. Because we did the, the Breeze interview first and everything like that, we kind of got the background, the bio and background for you and everything like that kind of out of the way already. Uh, but I can't believe y'all did Breeze. It was Breeze first. <laughs> who, who are you telling? I, <laughs> I, I've never seen that coming. And then, like, that turned into such a dope interview. You know, like, like That shit I, was fire. Bro, that shit was so fire. Like, he's he's such a good guy to interview. Like, what, yeah, what, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the fact that um, his, his god brother his god brother is Joe and, I mean, you – how you feel about Joe and shit like that? I was like, oh yeah, this is going. I already knew ahead of time. I was when I thought of y'all two. That's the first thing I thought of. I was like, oh yeah. shit, Joey. It, 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 it was. It was probably was the highlight of my entire YouTube career. Nah, get, yeah, yeah. Get the chance to sit down and cut it up with him. Like I felt super, super blessed for the opportunity. Like, bro, like that's like that's that's my notch on the belt. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, what did you do with your career? Like, yo, just just being able to sit down and talk with Breeze and kick it like that and nah, get the bro. story said, like. Bro, that was legendary for me. That was super, super. You know what I mean, cool. he, he he got he got Joe pretty much on. Introduce him to Clue, like just like crazy. That's yeah. just crazy. And you know now, I mean? and now we got and now we got the story of Merkel. Just basically, literally being written in front of all of our eyes. Uh, oh, which, man. like, bro, again, same thing with you. Like, you're already my guy, but it's still a blessing. It's still a great opportunity to be able to chop it up with you. You know, what I'm saying on the on camera for everybody and shit like that. Um, I want to talk about it. Let's let's get into it. So the the big thing that happened with you, obviously, Fast Lane came out. Um, Fastlane. how do you feel about it? How do you feel about it as a project, about how it's done, <laughs> so on and so forth? Um, I like Fast Lane. I, I definitely did my thing. Uh, so it's a good project. I, I know my um thing. I know my potential, man. And uh even making it, it was like uh it wasn't all the way what I, I, was, I was just create. So, so what happened was like, you know, after Raptors had a spike, I got a wave of people and right. that style was in demand. So with Fastlane, I honed in on the people. I didn't hone in on my artistry, gotcha. but I've been honing in on my artistry. So it was like, finally, there's a demand. So right. I'm going to supply that demand. So I do like Fastlane, but uh, Fastlane probably it, it, it wouldn't have happened had hadn't Raptors if, if Raptors never spiked. And at the time I was sp spamming Raptors, I was spamming other things too, trap raps. I mean, uh, I mean, auto tune raps. And that's whatever. the genre. That's the genre that people wanted. 
Right. Or that that at least caught fire first. Right, right, right. And, um, um, so I don't think you know about this. This is actually this is a great conversation to, to let you know about too. So uh, we had a podcast that's in South Africa, right? Me, Stogie T, and uh, the Pristine Queen, Aziza, and we did album reviews. You have an album review in Africa that I don't even think you know about. Um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We reviewed your album for the pod, uh, and it, it was received extremely, extremely well. So we did we did two two U.S. Um, we, I think we recorded like four episodes of it, and we did two U.S. reactions. Uh, yours was the first album review, and then we did Nick D's as well. Nick D's, unfortunately, because he has more of the adult contemporary style, didn't get as good of a reception as I wanted to. And Stogie ended up saying that Merkums is on par with Kendrick Lamar when it came down to, like, the bars. Well, for and that? Off of that. And I was like, what? Because, <laughs> like, by the time I actually sat with Fastlane, I, you would come out with so much shit, There's like, like, four or five songs afterwards by the time I really listened to the whole project. And mm -hmm. I wasn't feeling it. I'll be honest with you. Like, I thought it was cool. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you, you knew what I could do? Because the other shit you put out was so much better. Like, I felt, I yeah, like, I feel, I feel like it was like, this isn't, like, you're putting out more quality stuff that's not on the album week after week after week after week. And then it, it was more production. It wasn't really the raps. Like, I feel like some of the, the production on some of them, like, I know you had, like, the one with uh, Samad, his name is. Like, I felt like, like some of the, it was a little sketchy as far as the quality of the, the production on it went. Okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, I could, I, I could respect that. I was, um, yeah, man. And I was just really, like I said, I just wanted to, I wanted to do, I always compare it to Migos. Like when you hear Versace, it's like, damn, that shit is fire. And then it's like, all right, Migos is like, all right, bet I'm gonna make 15 more of these. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I, I, with Fastlane, it was just like, let me just put a tape together with rap, people like rappers. I need 10 more of these. Um, maybe, maybe nine more of these and switch them up with, but it's going to be different kinds of Raptors. So it's, you got the booty right. Raptors, it's called Bounce That. You got the intro Raptors that starts things off. That's too dangerous. You know what I mean? But it's like, <laughs> but for me, it's the same brain, same pen, same, you know, right, like right. The, the almost the tech approach. I mean, don't get me wrong. I bumped the shit. Like I, I got the, the joint with you and Koofies is like, it, it's in the mix. I listen to that shit all the time. Right. And, and that, that was, um, and I also said two songs. That's not that just so I could flex a little bit, which, which was actually three kicking the door, the joint with Koofies right. and break the chains. Kicking the door was wild. Right. Like that, that one was way different than the, yeah, other that ones. was just like, a, yeah, that was like a club joint, like a yeah, kick that, it. That one because I, I would have been extremely unhappy with all fast, just that that same um approach I took. Gotcha. So I did I did that kind of for me. You <laughs> have the, you have this commercial thing about you, right? Like this this viability when it comes to like knowing what you want in that case. So like on my on my channel, the bars are always going to be what scores the best. You know what I'm saying? But like you and I have talked about this before, whenever I've critiqued your bars and it's like, yo, I'm not trying to be barred out forever. Like I want the bitches to dance. I want, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I, right. I, my, my target and what you try to do is above and beyond me just looking for a good punchline. You know what I'm right. saying? Like you got to make good music. So you take something like bounce that where like, I don't listen to club music. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not necessarily my, my, my twist. But right. everybody fucking loves it. Like I've never played that for somebody and they didn't fuck with it, even if it's right. not my lane. I think that type of versatility and being able to put those different types of categories together, bro, is probably why I fuck with you as heavy as I do. You know what oh, I'm man. saying? Like Hell yeah. there's a there's a lot of lanes, and I don't always agree with you. You and I have had a conversation before right. <laughs> where I may right. not agree with the way you move about certain things here and there, but I call you and we talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Right, we right, it right, up. right. I, I, how has your reception been as far as that with other people goes? I know not everybody's cut from that cloth where it's like, yo, I'm gonna call, you know what I'm saying? Let's have a talk, um, blah, blah, blah. No, no, I'm learning a lot of people are not cut from that cloth. And um, the reception is I've, I've lost fans. I've had, I have, now I have, oh, I have, I lost fans. I created the fickle fan that, you know, they're there when they're there, they're not there, right. that they don't like, you know what I mean? I created the fickle fan. Um, I've gained fans. A lot of people fuck with me more. So for, for all the people that strayed, there's I mean, there's a nice amount of people that gravitated. Um, bro, it's, it's, it's almost every spectrum, but it opened it up though. It like it just made it. It made. How are you, the, how are you dealing with that? 
Because like like you know, in, in retrospect, you and I have talked about this before. You've only been in the, the YouTube scene for like a year. So like yeah. you still got a lot of growth, like personal growth and like understanding like the space that you're in and shit like that. Like right. how was how is your mental? How are you doing? Uh shit, bro. I'm I'm straight, man. I'm I'm feeling good. Good. Sometimes the uh yeah, sometimes comments and all of that shit could get overwhelming. Like just just cons- <laughs> consuming your, your brain and that shit, like what niggas are saying at the comment this sucks this is fire he looks like this and i mean you, you read it you're about you, you know what i mean so it's just like after a while it could be you ain't got something yo imagine being the fucking white youtuber that does hip like trust me i get the comments my guy right 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 <laughs> yeah so it's just like you know what i mean but uh I, I feel like i'm handling it well bro uh and shit i'm anticipating it i'm, I'm i would be i would feel away without it I'd be like, ah, right, yo, this 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 song is moving slow because where the ain't nobody called me ugly yet, or just you know what I mean, <laughs> or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? Ain't nobody right. called me a piece of shit all day. What's going on? Because then I, I after having so many of them days, I didn't not after like I mean I probably you wouldn't notice a dry spot, but if I damn I haven't dry had a dry day in a minute, but <laughs> you got <laughs> digging the crates, you got digging the crates, and 20, yeah. 2017 was slow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, nah, I remember, like even this year, like just I'm probably I don't know, my nigga. Well, probably like two years ago. Like I was just I, I, I understand what it's like to have a slow day in the office. That's what right. I'm trying to say. I got you. It's now, been a while. The reason I ask you all this is is because like all the a lot has happened since Fast Lane came out. As far as right. your your growth as an artist, your growth as an individual, how to deal with stuff like like this stuff that that can can or may not may or may not mess with your mental. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like dealing with it. What can we expect to be different on the next project that comes out based on what you, you know, your personal growth, whether it's because like the music has always been dope. I, I, you know what I mean? So like, what can we expect differently from you as a person, as an artist on the next album that may not have been there on the list? Mm, it's crazy because the next album is basically Fast Lane again, but okay. like <laughs> revamp. Um, but I did add it's going to be 21 tracks. Okay. And um, Fast Lane had 12. And I think three or four of the 12 are remixes. Gotcha. So, and then a bit, but there's this bigger features. Like, I pretty much shopped Fast Lane. Okay. Like, yo, like, and I got about four, five, three or four, like, industry collabs. On that you, shit, like you able to drop names or not? I'm able to, bro. But you know what? So the jungle remix with Graf. So jungle is jungle. Okay. But, um, huh? I said, damn. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, um, we shot the, the videos done. It's it's in the, it's in its can. Um, and yeah. How, so how hype are you for that? Um, I'm hype, man. I'm hype. I'm hype to see how 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 it does. I mean, because especially like all of my music is is heard, but it's it's also unheard for real. Especially if ain't no music video for it. Right. I mean, you you there's, there's still a ton of room for growth. Absolutely. You know yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll, t- I'll like, tell you what, man. You look like you're enjoying the fucking journey, and like that's what yeah, it's bro. about. You know what I mean? Like we might not have 20 million subs right now, but you look like you know what I'm saying. Like nah, nah. I'm loving up. the journey. I'm loving the journey, and it's like I'm also happy making music because, um, like outside of like even though this is just a, like a revamped version of my last album with a couple other songs. And it's not, it's, it's, so I'm sure you already know me saying that this is not going to be my good kid, Mad City. Right. This is not going to, I mean, this is not going to be the bio, this is not going to be the biography of Merc. It's not going to be that album. Right. It's pretty much going to be a remix of what the fuck we just had. Um, even with that, I'm still allowed to do, I mean, I drop my weekly raps. I do, I mean, things like that. Or I drop a freestyle. So I'm still allowed to flex my creativity and all of that in between. Even though people going to demand a, probably like an album of A, B, and C. I, I'm, I'm creating all of that stuff too. Like when I make a real, real fire. That was like three, my next question was like, like are you going to put out like a best of Merc? You know what I'm saying? With like the like, freestyles yeah, or something yeah. like that? So it's like, so like I drop my weekly joints or like stuff like that, but when I make something fire fire, very like outside of the whatever, but it don't fit in fast lane, like it's in the tuck. Like I got I got a crazy like catalog boom, boom bap. 
I got, I got, <laughs> shit, I got back Burt tracks that nobody got on my shit. Let's go. Right, okay. What you got? I got the Australian joint that never came out. What? Oh, yeah. shit. So oh, some, behind, some, some behind the scenes, uh, behind the scenes shit happens. Oh, and shit. I, I got that John. Damn, the Australian cipher bird. I'm I gotta, gonna... If I can get the if I can get Koofy's to do the video because I got his too. But if I get him to do his video, I put together a little pack with just you and his verse back to back, and I put that shit out. Damn, bro, you gotta put the Australian flag behind my shit though, because I said, what well, is that gonna be like? Why the fuck is Merck talking about this? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do a little context. <laughs> I'll do like a, yeah, a context yeah, blur. Yeah. <laughs> I think I said something about crocodiles and. Fucking, I don't know. I was like, these niggas from Australia. I got the check. I was like, bet. <laughs> fucking boomerang. Da -ra, da -ra. <laughs> hey, boomerang bars. Something you got to deal with. <laughs> Kangaroo. I was oh. Steve Irwin. Whatever. Whatever's coming to my brain. The fucking little six stereotypes I know is a, I stretch it out enough for a good 16. So who who have been your favorite people to collab with? I know you and Lex are close. Um, but like, who who've been like like the best like I, what do I, what, how am I gonna put this like who do you think you have the best compatibility with on a track that you've collaborated best so far? Compatibility, um, me and Koofies. I don't think I'm gonna argue with that. Or the or the, or the um, just that kind of record, like Big Bad. Yeah. If I could, I would like to anchor the project too. Like me and Koofies doing the project, I'll find the beats. I'll I mean we'll we'll, we'll figure out the hooks. I'll probably do mo majority of the hooks, but like, I mean, just really 50 cent the album. And, um, Fair enough. How, you know have, I mean? you, have you been speaking with him? Yeah, I talked to Goofies. So this is interesting, right? Because I don't want to get too in the details with stuff, but Koofies is the guy for me in my life where when there's some, when I, when I feel like I'm about to do some dickhead shit, uh, he, he, he pulls me back. You know what I'm saying? Like as, as hard of a motherfucker as Koofies is, he's a peacekeeper. Like he he's, he really yeah. just wants to see people succeed and shit like that, and he, he really do try to like steer away from that. Have you had any conversations with him about any of the drama that you be getting into? Do he try to reel you in at all, or what's up with that? All the, all, all the time, every time I get into some bullshit, Koofy, I get it. I'm 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 expecting a phone call. <laughs> You're problematic. No. You know that, right? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yo, I damn near want to. I'm not, bro. That's fucked up because I'm not. <laughs> Why does I'm this keep happening to you, man? I'm the reactor in every situation, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's what we had, man. Koofy's 100%. Shout out to Hunter Koofy's. You see this. That's my guy. Uh, super, super solid dude. Love to see y'all get together. Uh, the collabs don't stop there, though. You got a lot of shit that's that's moving um, out in Africa. Not just the, the reviews and everything like that. You just, you just dropped a bomb on me today on Twitter uh, saying that we can already expect to see you on Barcode 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me being problematic. Cause what the fuck is that rap? And I, now I gotta say it publicly. <laughs> well, LJ just dropped this album, and uh, so like, like, like this week, like, like just. I know, a... but he told me August thirtieth. So I'm like, yo, uh, yeah. I, I'm like, so last week I'm like, damn, this thing album dropped. No way, this shit is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. And he and he does the the fifth of August, John, for his birthday. He puts the shit out every year too. So right. He, you're looking at September earliest, I, I would say. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let's see, yeah. see how the see how the, the project goes. Did you peep his project at all? I uh, haven't, haven't, I haven't listened to it yet. I just reacted to uh, the first song off of it today. Uh, he, he went he, crazy. He's he's in his like commercial gospel bag, and the production yeah. the production value is crazy on it, bro. Nah. Like, quality, quality, quality music. It's not it's not my lane because of the church stuff. You know that's not really like my twist. But you couldn't listen to it and tell me it wasn't a quality track. Right, you know right, I mean? right. Now you know, you know when something, oh, you know good music. You know if yeah. you, whether you like it or not. You can tell you something's know? dope. If it's dope, it's dope. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't put on Adele. I'm, I'm not bumping the Adele, but, but it's I hear Adele. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is that. See, you I actually mean? bump. I bump Adele. Adele's hot as shit. Right, right. And but, I and I understand it. I just, no, I don't. No, I mean <laughs> <laughs> that rolling in the deep. That that shit. You get me drunk with some karaoke shit. I get up there. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, what? anything else, any other collabs um, out of Africa that you got lined up, or are we just going to see what happens with the Barco job? Um, I don't have anything lined up. I, uh, I don't have anything lined up, but I do want to see what happens after the barcode. I kind of wanted to um, 
Yeah, I do. I do want to. I want to. I want to lean in. I want. I do want to lean in, bro. I've been thinking about it for a while. Um, not, there's nothing stopping me. Is I don't. I don't know. Maybe my promotion methods or something. I don't know. But it's just like, you let me let me know what you want. I got people ready um, to go. No, 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 South no, no. Africa. Actually, I'm ready to lean in, and I'm actually hoping. I'm hoping Barcode is the catalyst for that. Maybe that's why. I, well, I was on his ass today because I'm like, I'm sick of these niggas over here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, going to South Beach. Beach. Where's the barcode so them motherfuckers over there can see what's going on with these bars? Because I'm sick of Americans. <laughs> it's gonna go crazy, bro. It's gonna go crazy, man. Him, him I and, know. Him I and, know, and I'm just, uh, I'm just being antsy. Him and Mex Cortez dropped their their albums, their their debut albums this week. Um, yeah. Sh- shout outs to them. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be great, bro. Once you start getting some of those international collabs, bro, your, Yo. your sound's gonna travel. It's just gonna happen. Yeah, man. Damn, yo, I hope I didn't say too much when I said that. I don't know what I'm thinking. Now that I'm really thinking about it. Bro, check my interview with LJ. LJ is the most down to earth dude I ever fucking Yeah, yeah, about. you think he'll give a fuck? My, nah, 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 nah. My, my bad, my man LJ. So I was, damn, I kind of was wild. It probably should have been low. Like, nigga, Merc, you on the barcode, shut up. Like, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I, he's, he's all about, like, the whole reason for barcode is to for him to, like, take the buzz that he's got and start putting on the people around him and shit like that. He really cares about this hip hop shit, bro. Like he really does. So, and that's fire because I only, I mean, I'm only speaking because I'm excited to be, I mean, to, to touch out there to, I mean, to have that, yeah. whatever camaraderie we could build with, with a, with a fan base potentially and lyrical Joe. I would like to work with him again. And I mean, I want to lean got, in. I got a list, man. You, you say the word, I pull the trigger, man. Whatever happened with you and they, I know you and you, you and Envy, you and uh, Envy were talking about uh, a while from from SA. That was a while back, though. I'm not sure. I don't even remember, bro. I'll bug you about it later. Bro. Um. All right. So, do do we have a name for the next project? Um. M1.5 Fast Lane Deluxe. Gotcha. Nice oh. remix for real. It's right up on the deluxe. Is is the is the is the move right now? Right. It's the move, bro. And this is like, it's still essentially nobody heard my shit. Like I'm about to, I'm about to ring this shit dry. I'll do. Do you I'll, think, I'll, do you think the, the the controversies that you've been in are are helping the visibility or taking away from it? Helping. Okay. Probably, probably hurting the public review and everything else. But everybody want to watch me. I, 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 you and I had a conversation one time that stuck with me uh, when when I made that phone call to you that day, <laughs> and you was like, "Yo." I'm I'm totally cool being the heel. Like as long as they're watching, like they're gonna watch me come up. <laughs> Whether it's because they love me or they hate me, they're tuning in. Do you still feel? Do you still feel that way? Is that still the is that still the attitude? Yeah, bro, they're tuning in. They could they could take things away, whatever they may. I, I don't know. I mean, change the way they're looking at it or whatever. But they tuning in. Yeah, you you not you not gonna watch whatever with a bunch of good guys. Oh, if that's if that's if that's how it, if that's how it looks, whatever show you're watching, movie, wrestling, whatever, if it's a bunch of good guys, you're like, Yo, what the fuck is going on? What's the point, right? <laughs> what's, the point? <laughs> what's the point? All right, so let me hit you with a bomb then on some man shit, right? Now that you're here, right? You've had issues with a couple big name people in the YouTube scene and stuff like that, right? Whether you started it or not, it happened. Would you do anything differently? now like knowing everything now because there's a couple of things that go into this you're still new to the scene like you talk me and you talk about like still learning how the youtube people move and stuff like that and opinions and everything like now that you've lived through it for a year is there anything you would do differently with your run up until now and how you've dealt with this stuff um we got the oprah questions let's go boy yeah, i'm getting yeah, yeah. good at this interview some, shit some good questions <laughs> and no you don't know nah. no regrets? Nah, man, because I did what the fuck I wanted to do every time. I'm going to always be regretting not doing what the fuck I wanted to do. Have you repaired any relationships after the conflicts or is things just kind of stuck the way they were? Um, <clears throat> For the most part, things stuck the way they were. Um, I, ne- I haven't talked to Crip. That wasn't it, but that's not, I don't, to me, that's not, it's not real. It's never real. It's. Now, I mean, you was a media man made a list. I said the list stinks. Like, I mean, 
did you ever have a conversation? Like, I didn't want to mention you know, names like like that and all like that, but like since you did, would you encrypt? Did you guys ever talk personally after that conflict? Um, we talked real quick. Uh, he he was he was just like, damn. Like, I mean, he did let me know if he felt the way, and I let him know what I told you. I said, yo, when you you put yourself in a position where you're a person that's making lists, people that's on the or honorable mentions or who, whoever you put on the bottom have a, also a right to say this list stinks. I mean, when you put anything public out, somebody got a right to tell you, yo, this stinks. I got you. You know what I mean? If, once you dictate and where Merkins get goals on this, on these things, I, like that's that's when not, that, Merkins could dictate something. Gotcha. Don't or you could not say my name. And, okay. And then, okay. You know what I mean, you, 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 I you could do I that. I think the, the the whole thing, as far as like the list and everything like that, it was a really weird time because like just 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 the, the sensitivity we did you check uh shout out to uh uh my star too did you uh did you see the interview i did with him when we chopped it up about that yeah 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 i did i forgot it but i remember watching it at the time and um i remember he was um he was holding me down i think i think you know what i think i think he was holding me down and you was um i think, was, I think he was kind of backing him on the ropes and i was just like oh i wish i could jump in for my man <laughs> no, I, I, wasn't I, I just i like to i like the challenge i don't That's even it. remember none of the dialogue i just remember it's whatever Y'all it's, it's, it's from both sides you know what i'm saying i, I think the, the conversation him and i had about it were basically just like a kind of an in agreement with what you're talking about like yo if you put something on the internet like that then then it's public domain at that point you know what i'm saying like you can right. say what it is but like the way that people react and the way that people carry themselves about that are kind of like what was in question you know what I'm saying? Like, like, right. and uh, yeah, if you get a chance, run that back. Actually, that was a super dope interview. I know, and I, I remember it, bro, but I don't remember the dialogue, but I remember he was, I remember I was like, oh, he busting his ass, but I, <laughs> I remember, this is what, I don't remember, say, yo, I don't remember none of the words, but I remember um, Clip was attempting to hold me down the whole time. Like, he, he, was, he right, was coming right. from a genuine place. 100%. Um, He's a real ass dude too. I, I talked to him a couple times after that. He, is, like he that. is a real one. He's cool I, as shit. I, I fuck with him. He wasn't supporting my point the right way though. I was just like, yo, Steve gonna bust his ass right here because he's saying this, but it's actually this. And um, but I don't remember. You should have hit me up. That would have been that would have been a dope three by four. I could get involved in that. <laughs> what I'm saying, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, like, like you could fit with the dialogue. Like, okay, he 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 gets it. Like, he, he he did. And there, if you run it back. I, obviously, I cover your ass too. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't in a uh, disagreement with what you were saying in, in its entirety, or, or even like even the, the situation. Like somebody puts a, like take Crip out of it. Just anybody puts out a list, and someone has a problem with it. We it, it was more so like I, I think we were trying to see it from the perspective of what to be sensitive about versus what not to be sensitive about. You know what I'm saying? Right. And at the end of the day, it's hip hop. Like the issue was like what when did we get to a point where we can't talk about who's the fucking best? Without you know what I'm saying, like like that's what right. hip hop was. Like it's a, this is a this is a competition. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like it's a competitive sport and shit like that. And that's kind of what we were talking about. It was more like the spirit of it, less less about the individuals, more about right, right, right. How the culture is, it reacts to shit now. You know what I mean? Right, right. And um, yeah. So uh, so yeah. That taking it back to that 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 was never that's not that's not a real thing. I think. But I, would you I be on? Would you be on the the cookout ciphers again? Like if they do another cookout? Like are y'all cool enough to where like you got the invite back or not? Um, I there isn't one, but like, I didn't I, get okay, no I invite. You. I I, I don't no nah, I don't I don't think I don't think they 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 sending no invites my way to to okay. be honest because you know they got relationships with Shaq and all these people. Like I could be. I mean, I might be a, a disruption to the function maybe or just even to not even a even if a. Not a destruction that you can see, but motherfuckers might you not know I mean feelings and things like that. Like everybody got has to be able to be comfortable in these big group settings. So I understand that. So um, now, I mean I don't, I don't expect none, <clears throat> but um, I'm just saying from where I stand and I stood, it was never it was that's that was that wasn't that's not smoked. That's not a that's not a set. I wasn't severing that relationship. I don't know how they feel on their end. I said the list things. Now, I mean, if you, you, I didn't say nothing you, as, as a man, I'm a crippled sweet lady, this and that. Now, I mean, I still stand on all of them things and I still stand on the, now, I mean, just he, if there was going to be adjustments made to the list, Merkham's needs to be on there because Merkham's is the GOAT. 
And that's it. I'm going to stand on that forever. I love it. it. Yo, you should have seen the way Breeze was holding you down, too. (laughs) (laughs) He's just like, no, like who? No one. No one is rapping like him. They're not. When it comes to, you know what I told him to? And you're not going to, you're not, the the, the Lux ain't going to do it for me either. I told I need to see you and your emotions. That's what I need. I need to, yeah. I need mood music merch before I before I, I go you. I need mood music merch. That's what I, I need. Know. I know he, he he exists too. He got some joints in the tuck. Um, I haven't put him out ever in a or, or like PSA. It's like since since then I haven't right. really PSA is super dope too. Yeah, yeah. Um, even even that is like me giving people my feelings is a novelty thing. Like here go here, here goes I, your. I, I need you to I need you to settle down with one of these bitches so you can get your heart broke. Cause like <laughs> it got something, yeah. It's gotta Dude, be real. Only time, the only time I'm giving my feelings up is fucking PSA once a year. Then the rest of the fucking I mean the whole rest of the year I'm wilding the fuck out talking about bullshit. <laughs> I need one of these one of these one of these chicks that are claiming to be your baby mom need to need to, <laughs> need to lock this down and get right. us some get us get some heartbreak talk- music. Oh man. <laughs> Hopefully nah, nobody nah, fucks nah. your girl. You know, and we. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Heart, heart, heartbreak, Merkel. I'm going crazy. That's that. That's, that's what I need, man. I'm, I'm Yo, lying, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I get my first deal, I might, I might, I mean, I don't know what the fuck. I'm, 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 I better get an early link. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> when the emotions come out, I better get an early link, my God. I got you, bro. I got you. <laughs> um. All right. So, like, speaking about that, too, like, the, the marketing has definitely been controversial but effective. That's how, that's how I would describe it as far as the spam and everything like that goes. Um, I'm going I'm to ask you the same question like this that I did about the conflict. Is there anything you would do differently concerning um, the, the marketing? Uh, shit. Do more. Do it. Do more. Um, fuck with TikTok more. Uh, do more, bro. I just, like, know what I mean? I just... Gotcha. Would what you, I'm doing on Twitter, what I'm doing on Twitter times to fucking be more consistent on TikTok, uh, Instagram. I could I could probably be better with that too. Get better on YouTube. Like I mean, I'm I ain't, I feel like I ain't doing shit, but it is effective. It's effective, I, and I and I I'm doing a lot, but it's just like I, I don't know. I ain't, I'm not even satisfied with my like. Do you, I could do, you go do all that shit yourself? Like when we see the spam, is that you or is that a team? <laughs> There's one man, bro, so my thumbs is about to, you know what I mean, crack <laughs> off. And it's just like, then I'll be thinking like, damn, I was only on one social media for the day. But even though I went crazy, you know and I mean, I got videos, four, five, six videos, different spam that hit, that hit. Because I'm spamming videos and a lot is not hitting. So, you know what I mean, you might have five, six that hit, depending on how crazy you're going. And I was like, all right, I got five, six videos that's going crazy right now, getting 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 views today at the same time. And niggas is telling me what they think. They telling me I stink. They telling me, or the opposite. Somebody say, yo, shut the fuck up. And that comment is getting a thousand likes and I'm just dealing with the backlash from that. <laughs> and my mentions all day. But Dude, I mean- Cause you, you retweet everything. That, that's probably my favorite thing that I took from you was like, when, when it comes time that the hate comes, you don't shy away from it. You lean nah. into it hard, and yeah, I, I love it, bro. I love it. I yeah, love it. Yeah. That nah, energy, man. that energy is so positive. It's so pure. Like, like I never thought. I never thought like that. You know what I'm saying? Because like me, yeah. I, I'm all. I'm. I'm very, very so much so about protect your energy. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind muting, blocking. Like, yo, I, I want. I. Ch- I want to build up the GS gang so that we have a, a group of people who are like-minded, you know what I'm saying? And and even if we don't agree on shit, that we're still adults and able to communicate and, and put our hip hop opinions out there and shit like that and feel safe with it. You know what I'm saying? It never occurred to me that when you get those trolls and those dickheads who don't really, they're not there for the conversation. They're not there for constructive criticism. They're only there to be a dickhead. You know what I'm saying? I never right. even thought a second about like, let's put them on blast. You know what I'm saying? Let's retweet them out with a hard Right, energy. right. <laughs> I, 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 talk, I, I talk at specific ones. I, get, you know, I, can, I can see that. You know, you got to be miserable to do that. First off, right? You you miserable doing that? And um, now I mean, I'm I'm a nice dude, but I just I know how to be a dick if I want to be a dick. So it's just like certain trolls. It's like I go to your page, and then I see you got a link, like with some music. <laughs> like you got some nerve. All right, hey, hey yo y'all, what y'all think about these raps? I, and then I post it on my page with Merk Mob. 
and they, you know what I mean? And then it becomes that. And they did this troll didn't even know, you know what I mean? It's it's kind of lit over here. You know what I mean, right. I done recruited, I done recruited a couple people through this spam shit. You know what I mean? So pull, pull, pull up at your own risk. We're gonna stomp you out. <laughs> do you do you know who's behind the Merkham's fan pages, or is that literally just like organic love that just happened the way it did? Um, no, it's organic love, but I know who's behind it, type right. shit. Like people from through spam. Is it but, is it people that you know or is it internet heads? No, it's through spamming. They gotcha. just, yo, yeah, this is fire, bro. What can I do to help? I'm just like, yo, you can help. I mean, what what, what do you want to do? That some people they spam, they um they the Merkham's pages of made from people that did that. And they that's what they do. I mean, gotcha. I don't know the past. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not controlling what's going on over there. I mean it's, they, ever, they ever do something you didn't agree with? No, nah, no. Nah. Nah, and or, 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 they would, or, they would, or they would tap in. I mean, I would get a message. Or, I mean, gotcha. um, but nah, that's, that's never happened. Okay, concern, concern the marketing. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where people are going to want you to mentor them. Like, you're going to be in the game long enough. You're going to get the accolades and shit like that. And you're going you're gonna to take up a position where people are like, yo, get, get, <laughs> let me tap in. Like, give me the goods. What's up? Is that a technique? as far as the spamming and things like that, that you would recommend to the next cat down? Like, yo, this worked for me, it'll work for you? Or do you think that that's something that's unique to you? No, no, I feel like it'll, I feel like it works. But you just gotta, you gotta have something though. You gotta have some fire. You know what I mean? So this, this ain't like, <laughs> I just started rapping last week, let me start spamming shit. I mean, it, it might work for other reasons. You okay. know what I mean? You might, you might become the Ice J.J. Fish or the, or the whatever. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah. things work in mysterious ways now. You might, you might be an ugly nigga, and you know, look at this nigga. That you a famous internet star from the whack raps that you was posting online, or just you know, things work in mysterious ways. But not to be the respected MC that I aspire to be. So, no, I mean, you got to have something. Now, the best things that have come, you, you've got a lot of cosigns. I know a lot of people talk about the cosigns. Um, right. I think it, I think it's I think it's amazing to see, bro. I think it's super super oh, fucking dope. Like every time that you see it, I'm just like, bro, I'm cheerleading for you over here. I, I see the oh, retweets stuff like I'm like, yes, my guy, let's go. My G. Um, is has anything is how I'll, I'll break this up into two questions, right? Has anything come from them yet of substance outside of conversations? Like, is there any kind of collabs or or talk or promo that's come from any of those type of things? Um, this is the first question. I'm going to get the second question, I guess, that I want to get into is really about like the conversations and like any type of like OG knowledge and shit like that, you know, good conversations you guys have had that we can, we can talk about, you know what I'm saying? That's just good advice for people that are watching. Um, so which, what, what, what I'm going to say? First part, first part is the, cl the like collaborations or anything like that. Is there anything that's been in the works or talk about in the works of you collaborating with any of the famous cosigns that you've gotten so far? With the famous cosigns? Yeah. Yes. Lazy bone. Super dope. That's awesome. So yeah, I talked, yeah. bro. I was on. A, I, I talked to Stoke for like three hours yesterday, and uh, we was talking about you. And I, I was telling him about the lazy bone thing. And he stops me and he goes, "Let me tell you this about lazy bone." He says, "Lazy bone is the best rapper that nobody talks about." And I was like, "Let's go! Let's go!" He's like, "Bro, when it comes to the cadences, the flows, the technicality, with not only was he doing it first before it was like a thing that was like popping and shit like that like yeah. he started telling me stories and shit like that from back he's like yo like motherfuckers was getting sweated <laughs> <That's> <laughs> when crazy. it came to those tracks man that's, nah, super that's dope. crazy hell yeah 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 so definitely um yeah lazy bone for sure what what is are you on his is he on yours like what's, what's going on with it he's he's on mine i that's sent dope. him a joint yeah that, yeah yeah that's super fucking dope man um, yeah hell yeah now, as far as like the conversations and shit like that, what what gems can you drop for us? Like, what was like, yo, I had a conversation with X, Y, and Z. He said this, and I really took it to heart. Right, right. Um, I mean, just <clears throat> not did no no specific. I haven't really talked to nobody, but it was just really dropping some specific gems or nothing I haven't heard outside of like keep going, like yo, you fire. Um. You know, or, or just offering, like, even Lazy Bone was like, yo, like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck with me. I, like, you know what I mean? If you ever need help in this game, like, I'll be your advisor and things like that. Like, 
offering that was um was enough like i haven't really got into it too deep like even when i told the tech he was just like yo i love what you do man like yo man i fuck with you i highly respect you like we was on the facetime and shit and i was like likewise brother um i That's mean awesome. appreciate it i mean so and i mean they, they just let, pretty much letting me though even down the ice tea showing um rj pain my rap and he was just like i mean after i post that he like yo game recognized game and type shit and um Two weeks later, he like, yo, you got you got love how Merck flipping the flows. It's just like that. The fact that he's tuned in, it's right. like so. I mean, I haven't really chopped it up to to where they gave me like, yo, in this game, you gotta. I mean, we haven't got that in depth conversations, but they offered. I mean, they just let me know that they there. I mean, they let me know that they got I got their support, and they showed that. That's awesome. Awesome. So it's yeah. just like, I mean, things came from it, but I mean, we haven't really had to had had that sat down. Yes, where I could name a quote, nigga said that was just like, oh damn, this shit's crazy. But it's like, I'll hit you niggas, next year. Uh, next next year, we'll right, have that conversation. Right, give us some time. Give us some time. We go <laughs> once once niggas is, you know what I mean, rubbing elbows and all that. Sure, son's gonna come. Niggas know a lot. Them motherfuckers know a lot. So it's so let's talk about this YouTube shit, right? What is your yeah. your personal feel as an artist, right? What is your feeling on reactors? Reactors, um, yeah. it's it's a dope thing, man. It's a dope lane for them to, I mean, do their thing, get their shit off, put artists on, just do. Now, I mean, showcase that motherfuckers is tuned in. People like seeing that. Um, when I first started really noticing it, which was last year, um, that shit was crazy to me. I was like, yo. The, the, the fact that it's a thing, I mean, I got a whole new mind frame about it. Like, I'm, I, I deal with reactors every day at work now, because it's what I do. I rap, so I, like, I, I see reactors every day at work for the past since May of last year. Like, you know what I mean, I see them in passing and all of this. Like, prior to this, this was never a thing, and then now it's just like I don't really know this internet shit without it. That's so the, so, so good relationship as far as. The- yeah, yeah, I, the capacity I, I don't, that they hold. Right, right. It's I, I don't know. I don't know nothing without it at this point. Like it's damn near, it's like your know, reactors. Reactors is around like the mailman and the, the, the da 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 da. Like <laughs> shit, that's just a part of life. It's just part it's of the part, culture now. It's just a part, part of, the of the culture. everyday life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh, see my man. Now I mean, like like if Twitter's a world. Now, I mean, you walking around, see my man Steve talking some shit. Somebody over here. You know what <laughs> I mean, this. You know I mean, type shit. Who 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 are you closest with? In the re- in the reaction world, in the reaction world, um, like who, you. Like who's <laughs> know that my guy? But I mean, like, yeah, like yeah. the type of relationship you and I have. Do you have that relationship with any of the other ones? Um, no. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, no, I never <laughs> did. Enough. I never did though. It was always just like, yo, appreciate it. YouTube comment. Um, no, you know, no, I fuck with Holla. I fuck with Holla too. Who? Holla. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I told you, like, my, my attitude towards reactors and reactions and shit like that has not been the greatest. Like, that's the whole reason I got yeah. into this. But uh, I'm, I've, I've been I've been working on myself. Co- right. Co- Koofies done sat me down about my attitude and shit like that. You know what I'm right, saying? Um, I, so I, I fuck with a couple of them now pretty heavy. Um, yeah. So that, that's dope. Um, have you been offended by any reactions yet? Um, hell yeah, I've been offended by reactions. Besides Just mine. Like, uh, yeah, no, like I would just see, like, at first, like, you know, what I mean, after seeing motherfuckers first stepping into the world of the switch up, the 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 the, finic, the, ficky, the fickle fan, right? You know what I mean, my introduction to that is came through reaction. They didn't come through verbal, uh, nothing like that. It came through like. Like, oh, they, I mean, they doing this, or they doing this, or they, I mean, they, they judging things on this scale, or, right, right, right. or, they, or, they, or like, it's just like, oh, when they start, I mean, being, I mean, I don't know, just like shit like that. Just, um, so yeah, after you thought, because, I mean, if this first impression or something like that, you allowed to think whatever, and then I'm going to think you that. But when I think, when I see something, sh- something shaky at first, it was like, oh shit, niggas could unfan too. I mean, it was a, it was an introduction. That's real. That's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know about that. I'm I'm damn near new to fans, so I'm not. I'm not, now I'm learning about the unfan. I'm like, oh, or the fickle fan. I mean, there's there's two different ones. I mean, so it's just like you gotta, you gotta, put, a, you gotta, you gotta put a video out about that. 
You gotta do like yeah. a like a like a classroom shit. You gotta do like a Merkham's one oh one. Yo, I <laughs> I observe everything around me, bro. Everything, my nigga. Like, my brain be working. So, I mean, down to the fan. Like, you. that's why you, you can't nobody critique me without me saying, like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, you you giving me an interview. I'm like, is it, this is a good interview because I like good interview. I'm an interview snob. I like I like Charlemagne's journalism. Um, know what I mean? Trying to get better from, at it. <clears throat> type, type shit. So, it's just like when a nigga's, when a nigga stinks, I'm 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 answering questions. I'm smiling. I'm being murked. But in my head, I'm like, yo, this nigga is bad at what he do. He thinking whatever kind of rapper I am. He's like, well, shit, I'm, I'm trying to see how to ask Merc if I you know I mean about his album. I wasn't really feeling that. Try to, you know, what I mean, he might be trying to, you know, what I mean, so he's a critic. He's a critic of me just as much as I am. Right. Um, I'm damn near a critic of the fan. Like, but that, but, that, but that's that's what we talked about though, because it's open domain. This is exactly what we were talking about before. It's so it's open domain. And 100%. I'm, a fan. I'm a fan, just I'm not a rapper all the time. Sometimes I get out of rapper mode and now I want to watch a reaction like a reaction watcher. You know what I mean? And that yeah. motherfucker, ah, uh, he's reaction stink. He sucks a lot of dick. Uh, this guy does this. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? They who sucks, who that. sucks a lot of dick? What, what's your reaction? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't watch I don't watch the motherfuckers like that to be no. <laughs> I thought we was about to get all the tea on this job. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure there's reactors out there where you know, like, oh, this nigga, well, every time we reacted to this motherfucking song, he gonna be sucking dick for the song. You know what I mean? I'm sure they exist out there. I'm I'm okay with it, with, with, with that, as long as people are transparent about it, right? So, like, when I do the scorecard, the very first top of my scorecard, I let you know if I'm a fan of this person or not. Right. You know what I'm, saying? Uh, like, I'm, a, like, I'm biased. This is my yeah, guy. Like, like, this is my guy. Like, and I feel like if you do that, <laughs> Like if you're transparent about that, then it's then it's then it's, it's cool. Like you know what I'm saying? Like whatever. Yeah, it you're, is, gonna, it you're is. gonna lessen the you're gonna lessen the arguments. Like yo, exactly. Listen, like we, we don't come over here complaining with that shit. I told y'all niggas, this is my guy. Right. What are we talking about here? It's the people that try and fake it that that is like right, right, right. Just just say that's your guy. Like, <laughs> and I'm not just talking I'm, about I'm, you. I'm talking like yeah, in general. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, go. I'm totally unbiased here. And uh, I mean, that's what I be what I be what I be getting the last couple of days. <laughs> He'd be like, uh, put you in hot what he say? He said, I'll put you in hot water like hot dogs. And motherfuckers <laughs> pause it like, oh my god, <laughs> crazy. I was like, yo, I, I hate every one of you motherfuckers so oh, much. Man. Yeah, bro. All right, man. So like so we can expect that uh good relationship reactors, love to hear it, love to hear it. So we can expect that yeah, to be. Yeah. Uh, part of the rollout, you know what I'm saying, as far as new music and stuff like that comes in the future? Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's part of the game, man. If a, if a reactor wants to to get, like, links from you or something like that, is it, like, how should they hit you up? Just tag you on Twitter or, or what's up? Yeah, yeah, tag me on Twitter. That's cool. Cool. Is there anything else that you want to chop it up about while we got a chance? Um, Man, yo, not really, man. Yo, I got a fire diss track out right now, and I want motherfuckers to run that shit up. <laughs> go I check Merkham's YouTube about, page. We, go we check, we check Merkham's YouTube page, bro. Run those videos the fuck up. Right, I'll... right, right, right. <laughs> but yeah, run, run, run all the videos up. Run the videos up. Check, you know I mean? get sorted from newest, <laughs> and then just sorted just from start sorted from newest. And yeah, just it, it's just my newest shit. That's the only reason. It's, it's like I'm a machine, bro. Like to me. This is my rap for the week. <laughs> you, know, you know what's your favorite junk that is is like it's such bullshit, but that I play all the time. What? I love that Christmas junk that you put out. I play that I play that fucking Christmas junk <laughs> all the time, bro. <laughs> Yo, nah, bro. I was just trying to um uh... nah, that's just fire. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I love the shit out of that joint. Yo. <laughs> Yo, I got a Christmas song. What the fuck? <laughs> I was so like, what the fuck am I watching? And it was hot. I was, I was it like, was hot. I like, like, the black. I mean, I, this is amazing. This is my Carol now. I'm about to go nah, Carol bro. with this shit. It was, it was still Murph, bro. <laughs> bro, that's like, just fire. I don't care. I don't nah, care, bro. Like that's fire. Now that I, when I think about it, it's just like, yo, I got a Christmas rap, but it's still me. But bro, it's just I like did a, I did a special for you. Uh, where I did like seven of your freestyles back to back, and that's that's where I heard that John. And bro, I was so, like, we had the hardest bars, we got super hard bars, crazy flows, blah blah. I'm kicking over the fucking Christmas John. 
<laughs> I was like, yo, man, that shit had me smiling from front to end. But what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Why is it hot? Why is nah, it hot? It was, why is it hot? I had a couple punchlines in that. Yeah. Time. I was yeah. like, why is this so fucking hot? I don't really, I don't, I never ever, like, that's almost not in my catalog. So it's like, I forget that's the song up. I have. Yo, I want to hear it. Tis the season. Bro, I want to hear that shit. December comes around. I better say so that, that shit. That is the season. <laughs> Yo, Yo. I'll be waiting on December. Like, let's go. Get, get <laughs> wait till this shit I get posted. I forgot I had that fucking song. And it's out. And people could hear that shit at any time. Like, yo. Where's, when's the Thanksgiving John dropping? That's what I need. Yeah. It's, it's, it's November coming up, my guy. We got November. We got we got turkey wraps. What's happening? I don't know, man. I might I might do the Thanksgiving rap, bro. I might. <laughs> That's crazy. I was trying to go viral. What, it was 2017. I was like, I'm trying to figure it. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> but it, it's it's been working a little bit, man. But um, you know what's crazy too? Like you come off arrogant as fuck online. But anytime that I have a conversation with you, you say shit like this, like, yo, I'm still trying to figure it out and stuff like that. Why do you think yeah. people, why do you think people think that you're like that? Because like anyone's ever had a conversation with you, I'm sure like is, is way more down to earth. What is like, I guess t- the tone and stuff like that with tweets, it's, it's hard to really get like who somebody really is and shit, you know? Right. Uh, I, I don't know what it is, man. I'll be, uh, I say everything on this. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll tell jokes that's vulnerable too, but I, then I'll talk my shit too. It's like yeah, maybe that's what it is when they when they, they I talk my shit and then it's just like they think that's it. And Probably. you know what I mean? Yeah. I what's do the, think I'm what, a, what's coming I'm, out I'm, next. I'm, what happened? What's coming out next? What's like the next thing we can look forward to? Uh the next thing we can look forward to. Um I don't know, man. I got mad. I got like four or five videos in the can um actually the next thing that's coming the the next direct thing is um i'm dropping a rap to the final beat from the tournament thing the beat that caused everything not 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 even trying to be on a funny time to swerve (laughs) segue back into that um congratulations on that by the way i mean like let's let's talk about that for for one second because again i I don't give time on my channel to to shit that i don't bang with so like i do want to say like like i despite the i know the controversy is what got all the attention but i do i do think that people skipped over like yo let's take a second and congratulate my guy who came and and did what was asked to him and one, and you know what I'm saying? So like, yo, if I no one's done that, bro, that. if no one said that yet, yo, congratulations on that shit. You, you, you put the yo, word in, that shit was dope to see, man. I damn near forgot about it. My nigga, the parade was <laughs> rained on. <laughs> but fucking, yeah, bro. Um, Good luck, my nigga, because I was, um, yeah, I had the, niggas had me six, voted me 6% chance of winning. Even down to when I was in the final four. So it's when it was, when it started off with it's it's hard it's hard to vote against goofies it's hard right if you but listen it, to the, the the joint that y'all did it was it was it was it the joint from the album i don't even think it was the joint from the album it was before that i said on a reaction you're the first person i ever heard out rap goofies on the track you remember that shit yeah yeah that was the first yeah, time no. and it's not that it's hard to vote against goofies it was hard to vote for me like i was just like i was getting slept on heavily i thought that's what it seemed like you know what i mean it was just like out of everybody like, I feel you. So, nah, absolutely. so um so yeah so like when i had like i mean we saw the six percent on the on the on the poll on the final four but um like i mean so what what it would what would have been a percentage when there was 31 other rappers <clears throat> prior to the final four in the um no, I mean, in the 32 rapper bracket. So it's just like. Now, I, I will say that, you know, you know, I, you know, better than anybody. You can't take that shit serious. Like, like most of the stuff, these cats don't even listen to rap. <laughs> it, it, right. it's, a, it's a popularity contest at the end of but the day. Then, but I'm also not knowing. I don't know Stevie Knight. I don't know the judges. I don't know. Right. Uh, but, but I'm talking about just getting into it. So it was, I damn near, I was like. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, and a part of me thinks YouTube is a parallel universe. Where you I'm know, like, yo, I didn't even know he was a reactor. I seen, yeah. I seen, I seen a video of him uh, where it was like political. He was reacting to uh, uncomfortable conversations. 
Okay. And like that, that's what I've seen from him. And I, I didn't need, I, like, I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm still, I'm still new too when it comes to figuring out right. who's, who's who and all this shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I didn't know his work. And um, Kufi's is the one that told me about the competition. So, but uh, when I go into things lately, especially on YouTube, it's like, I, I don't know if it's, I don't know what these niggas like. You know what I mean, that, 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 that's pretty much what it is. And I do think it's a little bit of a parallel universe where it's like they might like the coon, the coon bullshit that I, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to make whack raps. And I was like, you know what I mean? Or I don't know how to be the, the corny rapper or, or whatever the fuck, the, the one that might, I mean, suffice. So it's just like, I don't know what I'm getting right. into, but as the competition is going and things getting judged, it's like, okay, I'm learning. Oh, this is, this is a piece of cake. <laughs> This is this my is lane. Nothing. Right. Yeah, I'm about to smoke this shit. And I'm seeing how niggas, Sleepy Night and the people that he got, the type people he got coming up, how niggas is responding. Um, yeah, I was just like, oh, fuck that. I'm, I'm going to smoke this. But at that, just was like, I was like, the people wasn't thinking so for a long, like, till the end. Till, like, the people wasn't thinking so till it was too late. Like, this, it was, this is facts. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now, right? And I'm, I'm going to be 100% real with you. I watched your most recent video, right? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I, I didn't know you had that in you. What? As far as like, I, I don't look at you as a battle rapper. Like I like like I don't think when I think battle raps and shit like that, I don't think Merkums. Like what? Uh, like I, I mean, I was wrong. I ate that shit, bro. I I, I I'm so I stopped my whole I stopped my whole night to listen to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, okay. I didn't know he was like, I'm not built like that. Like I knew you, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, but yeah. like me being a battle rapper, you know what I'm saying? Like you and I have had so many conversations where it's about music. It's not, it's not always about the bars. Like it's about the music and stuff like that. That like, those you are the conversations like, in my head. Something like break down an opponent and things like that. Like, the yeah, other yeah, yeah. Just being, on. just being ignorant. Like, just <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? Just, just that shit yeah. that I like. And I was like, yo, yeah. He's he's the whole package. Like, let's go. Like, there's no <laughs> like, there's no doubt in my mind when I finally get heartbreak Merkham that it's gonna be fire, even oh, though yeah, I ain't bro. heard it. Like, how to like hone in on something and do that shit good, bro. Like whatever it is, R and B. Like I got I got R and B joints, bro. Like and they like they not no whack shit. They not no there's not like nothing that's out. But it's like it's like stuff that's out. But like, but it's like it's I mean, got, Bruce, it's got Breeze put me on to that well, that that shit that got a cool hundred. You got those. They got a cool hundred on this. What the fuck? Which one was that? What? Uh, the 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 uh the auto tuny one. You know what I'm saying? The vibey joint that I did. I don't know the names of them. Oh, break break the chains. No, like I obviously I know that one from the album, but it was it was after that the breeze interview that I did. He told oh, me to I go. What is it called? I need it all. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was that. It was that. It was that. It was that. It, it was, was that. That shit was a cool hundred out of a hundred, and that's that lane. That's still that yeah. that smooth vibey. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Lane. That was just, I'm saying this is just, this pre rap is pre before. I'm right, I'm going to lean into bars because right. this is what spiked and this is what the, I've, eventually I'm going to peel back the layers. Once I get mad, people in the Merc mob is growing at a comfortable rate. I'm, you know, I, like even with Break the Chains, I sprinkle, I'm going to sprinkle. I mean, they're going to get doses here and there, but I people be wanting more and more. Like it's never enough. Never enough. I mean, so, <laughs> it's never I mean, enough. So, Cool. So yeah, that's that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm looking forward to it, bro. Uh, anybody you want to shout out or anything like that before we wrap this up? Uh, man, bro. Shout out my man Breeze, man. Shout out Plug City. Uh, shit. Yeah, shout, <laughs> shout out Merkel, bro. Tell, tell Breeze I said what's up. You know what I'm saying? Word, word. Tell, tell me he's looking healthy. He's looking good. Word, word. All right, bro. All right, man. Yo, uh, as for y'all, I love y'all. Hope you guys appreciate this. Uh, we will catch you guys on the next one. Get it.